Well, my name is Rohan Mawaha. I'm the UK Regional Director for Read Medium. Well, you know, the, the industry's been in a state of flux for a number of years, uh, since, certainly since the, the referendum. There's been a, a little bit of uncertainty um, around uh, real estate, and I think that one of the one of the core objectives here was to reinstill some confidence back into the industry, get the government engaged and make sure that they were doing as much to, um, to set the agenda for real estate investment in the UK, both from an international perspective and a, a local one. So we're working very closely with DIT, the Department for International Trade, on uh, delivering investors to this event um, because obviously that's a key focus for them to attract investment both internationally and uh, from within the country. So um, we have uh, a Downing Street breakfast which took place this morning as part of the agenda for MIFIM UK which was very well attended and um, over 80 investors were present at that um, and presentations from the West Midlands, from Teesside, um, were you know were were very well received by those investors, and uh, this evening we have a dinner at Lancaster House, which also is going to be attended by many of those investors as well. So the government has has really put its full weight behind this event, and uh, we're very appreciative of that support, and it, we feel it, it it very very much aligned to the agenda that we have. We've got a lot of people here from all over the world. Um, there's a number of countries represented. Um, we have two ministers, which is quite rare for a, a UK event, um, two ministers speaking. That's Esther McVeigh, Minister of Housing, and Graham Stewart, the Minister of Trade. Um, we also have an endorsement from Boris Johnson this year, which again is a, a very rare thing, but it, I think it highlights how we are very much aligned with the government agenda, and it also highlights the significance of the event to uh, both the UK and international real estate markets.